Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys kind of like some of the bare bone minimum basics for getting Righteous Fire started. Um, so remember, this is going to be for 3.16. So this is day one. Sorry if this video is a little bit scuffed. We're like in the middle of actually playing the league. So uh, I started Righteous Fire at level 42, uh, a lot earlier than I expected. The skill tree is pretty much exactly the same as how we are progressing. Nothing has really changed from it whatsoever. Um, so in this patch specifically, it's a lot easier to run Righteous Fire, mainly because of this cluster here, Hardy, and because you can now get flat sources of life regen on much, much more gear than before. Actually, they just really pretty much like doubled the life regen. So like 22.5 life regen here. You can get um, rings with life regen. You can get corruptions now with really good life regen. So pretty much getting all of that set up, uh, you can run Righteous Fire pretty much right away, right? So uh, I'm currently running Vitality, Purity of Fire, Purity of Elements, and I'm only 78 res. We don't even have our Cruel Lab yet. We've only done our normal lab. Cruel Lab will be just an absolute monster amount of sustain. Uh, and then this is when I can also plug in all of my life nodes. So I've intentionally dodged the life nodes for the most part because, you know, we're, we're running on flat life regen. We don't want maximum life. So once I do that, then I'll also plug in the 50 maximum life. Remember, if you are dying because you're new to the game, there's nothing wrong with taking the maximum life. It's just, it's this is my preference to be like a bit more aggressive. So I'm just going to go over some basic stuff. So uh, I've got a real crap weapon. I've just been taking scepters, throwing them in the league mechanic and hoping to get something good. So this pretty much just has like Ellie damage with burn damage. My helmet, just an armor piece. Um, nothing really too important here. Stone golem, purity of fire. I'm leveling some shield. Nothing crazy. It just has pretty much life regen. There's really nothing else. I've got purity of elements and flame dash here. I would like to do flame dash with arcane surge, but you know, leveling links. I don't want to be super greedy. I want to just level up. I don't really care that much about the current gear. Um, trying to get movement speed boots, but my RF is currently here. I've got burn damage, LA focus, righteous fire, ink AOE. I do prefer having the AOE for leveling. Uh, my belt is just pretty much life and res. Uh, my gloves are the same thing. I've got Purity of Fire, Vitality, Enduring Cry, Malevolence. I'm not running Malevolence, I'm just leveling it. Same thing with the multiple Purity of Fires. I'm just leveling them. Um, rings, pretty crappy. Nothing really too special. Pyre Rings would be super good, but I don't want to stop to do that. Um, the only time I've stopped is making this video, pretty much. Uh, and then my main link right now is... Uh, my single target is Infused Channeling, Burn Damage, Scorching Ray, Inspiration. You don't have to use Inspiration, it just helps with the... MP costs right now since it does cost quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. For leveling, I used Rolling Magma uh, at the beginning with Elemental Prolift. It was pretty nice. It felt pretty good. The single target felt complete shit. But if you crangle yourself some weapons to get some flat damage, uh, you can pretty much level with anything. So then I got to Armageddon Brand at 28. Um, and I switched from my setup of Rolling Magma, Ellie Prolif, and uh, Combustion to... Uh, Armageddon brand, combustion, elemental proliferation, and I think it was control destruction. I don't really remember. You want to just go with your highest, uh, highest damage links that you can check in POB as well. Um, so that's all pretty easy to figure out. Again, the single target wasn't that great, but what you could do is run Armageddon brand alongside with Scorching Ray or Flame Wall um, or even Searing Bond. Uh, people have been saying Incinerate works really well too. So you do have a lot of room there uh, of different skills to try. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a really short video. Take care. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. We're about to go knock out our Cruel Lab. And then I get to stack HP. I'm very excited. So catch you guys all later. Remember, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys are having a great time with Righteous Fire. See you guys later.